So, I'm just about reading this book here. It's uh, uh, Legends, it's called. Um, and you can see all the people kind of arguing against the superheroes. And the story goes that the dark side has sent his minions uh, and one under the disguise of Godfrey to turn the people against the superheroes, you know, and have that, it's kind of like the Smallville episode, you know, those that can be tarnished with evil and, and what you saw in Batman v Superman, that Superman should come to the, to the anti-life mother box or whatnot and that and dark side's dealings and and in the story you you see Billy Batson and Suzanne and he believes that he killed somebody through just using the word Suzanne. Lo and behold it was a villain anyway. And I try not to spoil it too much so but that was a part of Dark Side's plans and making doubt and you, you see through the whole story how guilty he feels and and low and by the front cover you can see the superheroes are suffering as well with all the people turning against heroes and not wanting them and thinking they cause a lot of problems just so when it's time dark side will come over and take over and it and it, it just heightens it just heightens the fact that we we never we could have got dark side in a movie. We could have already ha had one of the best lineups with the hero going up against dark side. The only benefit I can see happening is where we are to get the new gods and. And hopefully that will enhance Dark Sides and all the other people from Apocalypse and and what's what's the other one called? Uh, New Haven? No, uh, Apocalypse and what else? Anyway, it's not important. Um, well, you'll see Dark Side and High Father and stuff like that, and you'll get you'll get to know the characters. You know, the two polar opposites, good versus evil. You'll f probably you'll find out more about what mother boxes do. Hopefully they'll use the same mother box that you saw in Justice League. Um, but when we think back to these stories, like from Smallville and stories like Legends, when, when you see them arguing and, you know, shouting at the heroes and the heroes doubting their, their things, and then... Maybe they had a point of taking Dark Side out of the picture. But again, you know, for Warner Brothers to decide that we shouldn't get Dark Side, that we shouldn't have this big major villain, not even mentioned in the movie, not even, uh, you know, an after it scene credit with Dark Side there. Um, that, to have that major villain, I, I, I can't for the life of me work out why anybody, why a film studio would take it, would take one of the major badasses DC has out of a movie. But then, the more you think about it, this is when you realise that Warner Brothers, by doing this, shows that they have very little knowledge of their DC properties. Because if they had knowledge of of uh, of their DC properties, they would know to keep Dark Side in. They would know how big a character it is to you know for him to be removed. And if they wanted more people engrossed into coming to see another Justice League, then they had to have some, I mean, only been mentioned once, and if you blink, you would miss it in the Justice League, when Steppenwolf says, for Dark Side, you know, and I, I, people would be asking, who is that, you know, and then, but if you had left a credit scene 
or something at the end of the movie, or like what Zack Snyder says, where the heroes look on and they see an image of dark side through the boom tube. Um, mistakes like this, and mis and the conflict maybe behind the scenes and what they want to do with with the characters, where people sort of hating the CW verse because they believe that those characters don't reflect on the heroes they were. Uh, and then with the swamp thing, and now there, there, there's talks about there was arguments behind the scene on how dark or how light it should be. You, you suddenly there's only one conclusion, and that's Warner Brothers does not know their own properties. Does not know DC at all, even though they are legends. If you disagree with me, uh, or anything like that, let us know in the comments below. This is DC Vigilante. That's my thought of the day. That's my truth. Catch you later.